uh, he was terrified. He was absolutely terrified. He's probably this, like I said, I've been doing this a lot. I've done this in Iraq. I've done this in Afghanistan uh, multiple times. And he's probably the person I would say was the, the, that I ever saw the most terrified in my entire career was that, that moment when, or those moments when we did the rendition. Yeah. What did it look like? What did what look like? The fear, I mean, how did you notice it? I mean, again, the hyperventilating, uh, shaking, and that's that's how, what that's what fear looks like. Uh, was he crying or was he talking? No, he wasn't crying. Actually, he wasn't crying. I think he had probably gone beyond a point where he could cry. Uh, the fear was so absolute. I think he probably did believe that he was about to be killed. I want to show you an image of a painting I did. That I cannot get out of my head. He had a bloody nose. His lip was cracked and swollen and bleeding. He had uh, a big swollen black eye. He had goggles on. And um, I've lived with that ugly truth for 17 years. And it's bothered me for 17 years. <clears throat> I really, when I was in pain, I really wanted to destroy them and to destroy everything they love, like killing them in a very, very horrible way. But killing them is not enough, like killing their families, killing the people they love. 